Hi, I'm Elizabeth at Home on the Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to take the perfect egg and cook it perfectly. I call it the 10-10 method. First you take your eggs and bring them to room temperature, time it for 10 minutes. Then you put the eggs in your pan, cover it with cold water, bring it to a boil, simmer for 10 minutes, drain the eggs, uh, put them in cold water, put the lid back on, let them cool. You've got a perfect egg. All right, we're almost ready to start our egg dyeing, and uh, I have lots of help today. This is Henry. He's anxious to get to the actual egg part. Yes, I am. We're doing natural dyeing, and it is so easy to do. You can do it in three easy steps. The, you only have three decisions to make. First, you need to pick your color, and that's the fun part. So in here, we have onions and beets and carrots, and uh, you probably, I probably don't have to tell you what color they will be. These will be a really light orange. The beets, of course, will be a lovely little pink. And with the onions, we only use the skins, and that'll be a really light brown, not unlike what the skin is showing here. Uh, over here, we have blueberries. That's gonna be a very light uh, lavender, not blue. Um, this is juniper berries in here, and that's going to be a lovely tan color. This is hibiscus, and this makes the most beautiful lavender pink color. Um, I've dyed fabric with this, with whole hibiscus flowers, and it was just gorgeous. This is a whole herb. This ha happens to be rosemary, but you can use any number of herbs to do it. And this, of course, is going to be green. We have paprika, which will be the color of paprika. We have turmeric, which will be a pretty little gold, and then we have chili pepper, which is going to be a really deep, deep, deep red, almost brown. You can also use coffee. I have tea bags in here. You can use tea bags. So go wild. You, you don't have to use what I have here. There are literally hundreds of plants and vegetables and fruits that you can pick from, so experiment. So choose your color. Once you do that, you need to choose your mordant, and a mordant is simply that substance that's going to set the color. There are three things you can use. You can use cream of tartar, alum, or white vinegar. Now, I don't cook with white vinegar, but there are a lot of other things I do with it, and this is one. So white vinegar is going to be our choice of mordant. So what we're going to do is um, uh, put everything in this big pan, and when you use natural dyes, you have to cook it and let it, uh, let, give it a chance for the the color to get out of the plant into the uh, water. So uh, the, the only other thing that you have to choose is are you going to do a hot process or a cold process? Now the hot process is simply where you put your color, your mordant, and your water in the pan with the eggs and cook them all together. The cold process is what we're going to do today and uh, we're going to put in our water, our mordant, our color, cook that let it cool, and then put our eggs in. So Henry, I already have some water in there. You need four cups of water for this recipe. Just pour that in there, sweetie. All of it? All of it. Mm -hmm. And you need one tablespoon of your mordant. So you can just set that down anywhere, hon. There we go. So we're gonna put one tablespoon of white vinegar into the pan, like that. I'm going to swish that around a little bit. I'll let you be the stirrer. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And uh, we're going to use the rosemary. And this is a lovely, lovely green. So when you use fresh, I mean, uh, when you use dried herb, whole herb, you need one cup. If you're using uh, fresh food, like I have over here, you'll need one cup per four cups of water. If you're using one of the powdered, Spices, that's my sweetheart. Like these, you only need one to one to two tablespoons of that. Now we're gonna put this on the stove and let it cook, and uh, we'll meet you back here. Hi, we're back with our natural egg coloring. I have in the, the different pots, I have blueberries, beets, a mixture of greens. Uh, as you remember, we put the rosemary in and it was very dry and it just didn't have enough chlorophyll left to give it the oomph I wanted. So I just went outside and picked some grass and dandelions and uh, various weeds. And in here we have coffee and tea. So I'm going to put in my eggs right in these pots of hot water and color. Let me just lift this up and show it to you. I have my mordant right in here, my vinegar. So I'm gonna add these eggs right in here. 
And uh, we have our little dying crew that you're going to meet in just a minute, Henry and Dylan. They're busy marking their eggs while we do this. And this is Shauna from Red Shed Soap, and she brought her oxides that she makes and colors soap with. And so we're going to try that on Easter eggs today. Great. I am so excited to try this <laughs> and to, to see how they turn out. We'll experiment. Okay. These are just um, iron oxides, and this one is green uh, chrome oxide. And I'm just going to use approximately um, a three quarters of a teaspoon of oxide. And then we're going to add some hot water to dissolve it. You want to make sure that it's totally dissolved so that there's no uh, little clumps at the bottom. So to do that, you just add your hot water and you stir. And this might take some stirring, so you just need to keep an eye on it to make sure that it's completely dissolved. Once it's dissolved, we'll add a little bit of vinegar to it. And you just want to carry on and do that with all of the different Well, colors. here we are at our natural egg dyeing uh, session, and we have Dylan. He's our next-door neighbor. And then this is Henry. You've met him before. This is our little grandson. So, boys, uh, they've worked hard crayoling the eggs and marking on them with the wax crayons. So go ahead and pick your color and just place your egg in the color. And uh, Shauna has her oxides all mixed up. Well, we have the eggs in the dye bath, so we just kind of wanted to show you our progress. This is the beets, and uh, it's getting nice and pink, nice pink. The blueberries are getting really pretty. Now, keep in mind that I still have the food in here, so when these are done, they'll just have to be rinsed. But can you tell the color there? It's getting really pretty. Uh, I have one in here that's coffee and tea. And it hasn't been in very long, so it's not doing too good. And then in here I have my greens. And you probably can't see that, but it's a very, very pastel green. So what we're going to do is leave these in the dye bath for a couple of hours. And you can even put them in the refrigerator overnight in, in the dye bath. And then they get a much richer color. So Shauna's going to show you how the oxide eggs are doing. And it hasn't been very long, but... Uh... You can see that they're already picking up some of the colors. And some are darker than others. And it's all just going to depend on the different oxides that you use, how dark they will become. And the longer you leave them, the darker they will be. The blue is my favorite. That is beautiful. It has a really nice, vibrant blue. OK, uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you our finished product. Well, we're all finished with our egg dyeing project, and here are the results. These are the eggs that were dyed with plants and herbs and food. This is a blueberry. This is turmeric. This is dandelion and rosemary. This is coffee and tea. These two may surprise you. They were dyed with beets. You never know what color you're going to get. I thought I was going to get a pink, and I got a brown. In this basket, we have the eggs that are dyed with the oxides. And you can see this one has a mysterious little smiley face on it. <laughs> that was either Henry or Dylan, I'm not sure which. But we have a variety of colors, and I separated them in a different basket because we're not going to eat these. We're just going to play with them and hide them. But they did make some, um, some unusual When oxide colors. comes out of the dye and dries, it dries powdery like the Bare Minerals makeup because that's what that is. So I just took a cloth and with some olive oil on it and buffed them up with the olive oil. And uh, that made them at least so we could handle them, but they are pretty colors. I also put olive oil on the plant and herb dyed ones. It just kind of buffs them, shines them up a little bit and makes them pretty. So now we're all ready for the Easter egg hunt. Come here, Mabel. Chick, chick, come here. Come here, pretty. Come here, pretty. Come here. Mabel says she thinks it's sacrilege to color a perfectly good brown egg. I don't know, Mabel, what do you think? <laughs>